southeast uh, team for Citrix. I also am the team lead for all of the engineering folks. So if any of you are Citrix customers, you may know some of the folks that work for us in the southeast. But uh, today's topic is the building blocks of virtualization. And Valley, I don't know how fast my slides are going to go through with um, the connection. So has it advanced yet? Yes, it looks fine. OK. So the building blocks of virtualization is a, a topic that's obviously near and dear to my heart. Um, in order to have a successful implementation of any type of virtualization, you have to start with the correct foundation and build upon that foundation from the ground up. And I just found this uh, nice little building block set. It's something similar to what my kids would play with. And I grabbed the picture and thought it would be pretty funny to throw into the slide. But it really does uh, depend on your initial assessments, on your initial design, and then the implementation when you decide to go down the virtualization path to be successful and to have a good experience once you virtualize these components. So what is virtualization? And this is just an overview slide. And, and we're going to be focusing mainly on application and desktop virtualization today. But virtualization comes in quite a few stacks. Server virtualization is the one that most everyone is probably familiar with. With server virtualization, you can virtualize physical servers. You can add density to those servers by virtualizing hosts and being able to host multiple operating systems on one platform together. You can increase the performance of servers by virtualizing 32-bit platforms on 64-bit on physical hardware to be able to actually have better performance and, and actually host more guests onto one platform. Desktop virtualization is number two. And by virtualizing desktops, you increase the inherent security by moving all of those desktops and by moving all of those workloads back into your data center where you don't actually have a problem or an issue of folks having data to take with them. So all of the performance is, is the same. The user experience is the same no matter where you log in from because you get access to the exact same desktop no matter where you are. And then application virtualization, this is kind of where Citrix started many, many years ago. I think it's been 21 years ago that we started with application virtualization. But we have the ability to host applications and actually provide secure remote applications from within your data center to any user, no matter where they are. And we'll touch deeper on that as we go through this. And then, uh, presentation virtualization kind of rides right alongside by side with application virtualization, where we're able to actually stream applications down to a user device, and they can actually take that device offline with them. So there's nothing to touch on the client side. Anytime there's updates to it, um, it's just a differential file that's not sending the whole application package down anymore. But quite a few changes on how that has actually taken place. So at Citrix, we came up with this term this year called work shift. And the way the term work shift came about is moving work to a more optimal place by leveraging the power of virtualization. So by leveraging the power of virtualization, you're able to provide users with a work experience with a work desktop, um, a virtual desktop, no matter where they are. And it doesn't matter what type of device they log in from or what type of network, because it's always going to be the same experience. So people and computing are the two pieces that we're talking about. And of course, every day they seem to grow farther and farther apart, and virtualization takes on a you know, bigger part of everyone's uh, priorities of, of their projects. And when you talk to CIOs in the last couple of years, their largest initiatives are, are, are server virtualization, desktop virtualization, and application virtualization. So today, we have virtual work styles where we're able to virtualize some of your work styles. And you'll see as the virtualization technology continues to grow, that and everyone knows the, the buzzwords of cloud computing and, and hosting things in the cloud. And that's exactly what Citrix is doing with virtualization. So today, we have virtual meetings. We have the ability to host meetings online, just like we're doing today. I'm sitting in the parking lot staring at a Starbucks. And uh, 
suburban Washington, D.C., somewhere. We have the ability to provide virtual support with Citrix support. We have the ability to deliver virtual clients, virtual desktops, virtual applications, virtual networks, servers, and clouds. So moving work to a more optimal place, and I hope these animations, and this I think is the only one that I have, moving work to a more optimal place enables better quality of life. It enables when your employees are sick and, and they wouldn't normally be able to come to work, or their children are sick and they're not able to come to work, you're able to actually provide them with a work environment remotely so that they can be productive and still continue on with their work without having an interruption. And that's what moving work to a more optimal place is. When you need that document at 8 o'clock at night that your you know, technology director or your CEO or your CFO is asking for, you don't necessarily have to, to go back to the office. You can access that from any of your virtualization technologies. So at Citrix Synergy this year, we had a contest from a large base of our customers that are currently using Zen Desktop, which is our desktop virtualization platform, and said, where is the um, strangest place that you have actually used Citrix technology? And I had a whole slew of these. There was about 15 different slides of where some of the strangest places were. But this was my favorite one, and it was the only one that I left in there. So the most unique place that Citrix virtualization technology has been utilized today is on the space station. And an astronaut this year, uh, his first, um, I guess you call it a tweet from Twitter is, hi, honey, guess where I am? It was delivered through a Citrix Zen desktop virtual uh, machine using our technology, which I thought was just a fantastic story. So virtual work style is what we call this. And it's the ability to move work to a more convenient or a better location. So what that means, as I said earlier, is any device, so I have a multitude of different devices here, and I'll build this slide out fairly quickly just to give you an idea. So on a large computer or your regular desktop, you get to create, and it's an empowering device. On your PDA or your smartphone or whatever device that you like to carry in your phone, you can still access all of those applications. You can even run a full-blown Windows 7, Windows XP desktop from that type of device, although you know, how effective is a very small screen at seeing all of your applications. It's not necessarily the best experience, but a uh, good scenario is that I, I use the ability on my iPhone um, to approve expenses in a pinch when some of my folks call me and say, hey, you know, I need my expenses approved. I, I just submitted them. Can you help me out? And uh, I can be walking uh, through a... a building or wherever and approve those expenses just from my iPhone. And then laptops and larger devices um, that are becoming so much more popular, um, it's, some of them are entertainment devices, but we call it snacking, dining, and creating and empowering users. And, and it's a multitude of devices. And the beauty of using our technology is that you can use any device over any network to access any type of application or any desktop. So it's better ways for people to work, more e efficient and effective ways for people to work. So here are the things that I'm going to talk about with, with you today, starting with virtual meetings, and then we'll roll into virtual desktops and virtual applications. And are the slides advancing smoothly enough, Valerie? Yeah. OK, perfect. So virtual meetings, and I'm hosting a virtual meeting right now, and, and Centronet uses the exact same technology. It's called GoToMeeting, and we also provide uh, several other different channels to be able to host meetings, to be able to host this is GoToWebinar that we're using today to be able to host an online meeting. But for business and personal productivity, it, you don't have to travel to each location to host a meeting anymore. You can have people join in and view your screen and view your presentation just as if they were there in your conference room. So green initiatives are driving this. Just the cost of travel is driving this. Um, and, and it really 